Alright, we're here in Agra, India, where the, where the Taj Mahal is. We've had an amazing omelette, and now we're just walking around, seeing the city streets. Here in Agra, it's like really, really good vibes. Everybody's just so helpful, so friendly. They give you the local prices. Like, really, I can't say enough good things about Agra in my first hour and a half here. And our hostel is $3 a night. Three dollars and it has a view of the Taj Mahal on the rooftop. That is absolutely amazing. Never heard of anything like that. Three dollars with a rooftop view of the Taj Mahal. How incredible is that? Shout out to Joey's Hostel. Really nice place. The beds are nice and comfy. Three dollars and you get a view of the Taj Mahal, rooftop, everything. Agra was pretty cool. We wandered around. We got to meet some people. I even got my face shaved right before this video. So it was a pretty cool place to walk around and check out. So we really needed some food if we were going to be up early the next day. So we got some amazing mutton mughlai at this incredible local family restaurant. I'm eating some mutton mughlai here in Agra. So it was recommended to me. And I can't lie, it is phenomenal and it's for a great price. Thanks to my friend right here. Thank you. What's the name of your restaurant? Treat Restaurant. Treat Restaurant. You can really get some great food here. This mutton. Right next to the Taj Mahal. Nice right next to the Taj Mahal. Really, really good food here. Take one more. I'll take a bite without any, uh, without any naan because I can't hold the naan and take a bit at the same time. But look at this. Mm. Really good. Fresh vegetables, great sauce. The mutton is nice and soft, and all for about like a dollar fifty cents or something like that. Wow. These monkeys everywhere. Just right by the Taj Mahal. This little baby monkey. It really is crazy how many monkeys there are. It feels like I'm on safari. These monkeys fighting and shit. All right, it's like 5.30 a.m., almost six. We've just seen like hundreds of monkeys right outside the hostel. Did not know that this would happen. They're going crazy, fighting, eating trash, everything you can, can hope to see from a monkey right in front of you guys. Literally, like I've never been so close to a monkey. I had monkeys just a few inches away. And now we're walking up to the Taj Mahal gate right now. This is a great moment right here. I've always wanted to see the Taj Mahal. It's such a beautiful, beautiful monument. So let's go check it out. You gotta come really early to see it. Getting an early start, 5.30, 6 a.m. The monkeys did distract me for a little bit, I can't lie. But here we are coming up to the Taj Mahal. Look at this. This massive gate right here. Just try to open it, bro. Go through that hole, bro. Apparently, South Gate is not the gate to go. Maybe during a different time, but South Gate is apparently not the place to enter. So we're on to another gate now. Let's see. Look at all these big, beautiful cows right here. They really got the biggest cows I've ever seen in my life here in India. The biggest cows I've ever seen in my life. All right, I'll see you guys probably just record some more monkeys or I'll see you guys at the gate, Taj Mahal. Look at these monkeys just up on the power lines. Look at that. It's 1,300. It was like $15. I guess we'll find out when we get there. I'm sure there'll be a, another place selling tickets close by. More convenient. So that's the price there, 1,300. Let's see the price at the gate. It's just crazy to me how many monkeys there are right around. I never people talk about the Taj Mahal. I never heard anybody talk about how many monkeys there are 
everywhere. Seems like they, they come for sunrise and then they go to sleep or something. They steal all the food that they can steal and they just go back. I bet if you live here, monkeys literally robbing your house, going in your house and taking stuff out the cupboards and everything. It's like actually a real serious fear. This, there's a lot of monkeys and they look like they don't care. It looks like they're ready to take anybody's food. And look at them, they're just chilling. They're so used to being around humans, it's crazy. All right, we're here at the gate of the Taj Mahal, getting ready to finally enter and see this. By the way, no tripods allowed, which is very inconvenient for me. But nonetheless, here we are. Beautiful garden, trees around. Taj Mahal is looking amazing. I didn't even get there. Right behind me have this incredible, incredible gate. Like an absolute incredible marvel of architecture. I'm lost for words here looking at this incredible stuff. So check this out. This way. Check that out. Look how beautiful that is. Absolutely incredible. And then all the way around you have this beautiful red architecture. Pretty sure this is the south gate where we tried to enter and could not. And check out this incredible, incredible view. Absolutely immaculate. I just can't believe what I'm seeing right now. Finally, after years and years of traveling, I'm approaching the Taj Mahal. Can't see inside of here. Immaculate this is. Wow. I'm really lost for words. Look at this Taj Mahal in the background. This is an absolutely incredible sight. I'm so happy I got to see this after years of traveling. One of the wonders of the world right here. And you can see why. I'm sure the pit photos don't do it justice, the videos don't do it justice, but I'm gonna get a little closer and then I'm gonna take another video. All right, just got my Taj Mahal photos. Fortunately, you got people like this who just taking photos for just 20, 30 minutes and they just don't get out of the picture. They want everybody else to get out of their frame, but they don't get out of anybody else's frame. It's crazy. Same people have been taking pictures since I arrived. It's absolutely wild. Got like three different photographers and stuff. It's just crazy. Back doing Taj Mahal things still. It's very, very hot. And this place is just like, just like the Instagram place to be. Everybody's just taking a million photos, different angles, different poses, trying to do the little holes in the Taj Mahal thing. Of course I understand, but wow, it's crazy. You cannot take one photo without a ton of people in the photo. If you see anybody who just gets a picture of the Taj Mahal by themselves, that takes real skill because it's, it's not easy at all. It's really not. I would like to hold my camera a bit stiller, but can't do it due to the fact that they took my tiny little tripod. But here, check it out. What's more beautiful than this? We're at the Taj Mahal. We're really at one of the wonders of the world right now.
Wow, look at that. The Taj Mahal really is such a beautiful sight. Almost 400 years old and still so clean and in such pristine condition. It really is breathtaking to see in person, especially after seeing it on photos and videos for so many years. If you get the chance, definitely come visit this wonder of the world because it really is breathtaking. All right, there we go. I did all the corny Instagram photos. Not corny because this is one of the most beautiful places, one of the wonders of the world. But I got on my Instagram photo taking out and look at this beautiful Taj Mahal behind me. Better go inside. Can't film inside. You get foot shoe covers and everything to make sure you don't get the place dirty. This place, absolutely marvelous, incredible. Look at that. Oh my goodness. You really do not get better views than this. Not only is it beautiful, it's got a beautiful garden all around. I'm sure you guys have all seen pictures of the Taj Mahal, but of course you gotta see it in person. Look at that beautiful green garden. I really love the architecture on these gates right here. Really incredible. All right, we just got out of the Taj Mahal. It was absolutely incredible, the inside, the architectural design, so many little hidden things. I was listening in on some of these tour groups. Pretty cool, the way like they do special echoes and stuff inside. Really cool, if you shine the light, you can see 60 little, like, little points on all the little pieces of like art inside of there. It was super, super interesting. But look at this, this is when you get outside, Taj Mahal right behind me. And you just come out to this beautiful view. You got the incredible mosque right there, right on this beautiful riverbank. It's just such an incredible sight to see. After taking in the amazing beauty of the inside of the Taj Mahal, you can just come out, enjoy the breeze, look out at the river. You really don't want to miss this wonder of the world. You have to come check out the Taj Mahal at some point in your life. But that's my Taj Mahal video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next video.